Alright, I just want to do a quick wrap up of this tutorial, um, cover a few things that we've gone over. Um, so yeah, basically you should have end up with something somewhat similar to this. Um, so you've covered some fairly complex shapes, um, piece like this which took quite a long time. Uh, obviously about 20 shapes into one. Um, if you can model something like this, um, you can probably model anything. Um, it's fairly complex shape, so yeah. As long as you get through stuff like that, then you should be on your way. Um, most of this comes down to practice, really. So once you get the techniques down, and just keep on practicing with loads of different shapes, else you end up with some. You've ended up some fairly complex stuff like this. Um, so again, with some smooth details on here, which we've sorted out. Um, Obviously shows the importance of finishing the pieces off, make sure it's all lined up. Because um, these looked quite average before, and now they look really nice with the uh, chamfered edge and all that we've put into. Even these are fairly complex shapes as well. Um, so yeah, we've done all that, and make sure we've obviously kept quads throughout. Um, Polyflow for this is um, pretty good on the most part, to be honest. Um, very much quads everywhere, they're nice, evenly distributed throughout the pieces. Um, obviously done stuff like this as well which we had next to no reference for which is basically doing it off by eye off one image um, ended up with a good result as well uh, so yeah I'll just uh, quickly show what we'll be covering in the next DVD obviously this is about half of the bike um, fullbacks not actually quite finished at the moment um, obviously will be if once DVD is released so I'll just quickly cover that that file up. Let's wait for the mesh to cache as well. There we go. You click. Um, if you do want to order all your C manager stuff, um, you can just go in and click sort by name, and that'll put it on an alphabetical order for you. Um, so yeah, in part two we do cover some more crazy shapes once again. Uh, obviously the fender parts like this. Um, uh, brake disc like this again, more some more complex shapes. They're all nice and cleanly made. Obviously all the angles are all straight. Um, we do cover a few ways to do text as well in sub D. Um, one version there. And then again on the BMW there, which we do. A fairly different method for creating sub D text. And then obviously doing uh, cylindrical details, obviously cutting all these shapes in, making this all smooth. Again, a bunch of shapes put into one, which can be fairly complex. Um, so we finish up the chain, um, so the chain ring, the exhaust, cutting details into curved shapes. Um, again, even more so on the cylindrical shapes here. Cutting it in nice and cleanly on there, so that's a fair one of the most one of the more complex shapes as well. Um, other parts, obviously doing the chassis there, um, cutting some sharp details on the curved surface, um, which can usually cause pinching and whatnot, but it's nice and clean. Um, so yeah, we do the handbars. We'll finish this up. We will be fully complete by the time DVD two is out. So this gives you a bit of a idea of the extra stuff we'll be covering in the next part. So yeah, hopefully um, DVD has been helpful for you at all. Um, have you learned a lot about sub-D stuff. Um, on top of that, uh, if I haven't mentioned in the DVD at all, uh, if you are on a slower PC, obviously model at the moment's a bit under 7 million polys. Um, I'm only running in for like 4 gigs of DDR2 and a low-end 800 GTS graphics card. Um, so I don't have a massively high spec PC, I can still run this very smoothly. Um, if you do want to keep it low, you can obviously keep it not on two iterations. Um, so that's a bit over 400,000 polys, unsmoothed. So I'll show you now if you select all. Um, the, soul, the scripts I've got over here are the Soulburn scripts um, by Neil Blevins. Um, so if you just go into Subdivision Manager, Take these down to zero. Uh, 
and that's with that search view. You can see it's a um, bit over 430k polys. So if your PC can handle that kind of uh, resolution, then you should be fine for the whole DVD. First part's not quite that high, obviously. Um, so yeah, I think that's pretty much it that, for everything we'll go through. Um, hope you enjoy the DVD and learn a bunch. Um, if you've got any questions or queries, um, what's been covered in the first part, or any troubleshooting at all, um, usually around on the forum. Um, if you just want to PM me, Flux, or um, I'll start up a thread. There's a bunch of other helpful people on there as well, which um, if I'm not around, they'll surely sort you out. Uh, so yeah, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and take it easy, guys.